All right, what's up, everybody? What's going on out fam? here? Uh, we're going to be talking about 2022 goals today. Number one thing that I want to accomplish this year for 2022 is going to be maintaining a healthier lifestyle. So my number one, uh, going back to maintaining a healthy lifestyle, is I was addicted to the Juul, which I'm sure many of you guys could probably relate to. It's it's kind of become a problem with uh, today's generation. A lot of people just picking up these Nick sticks. It's becoming a habit for a lot of people. So I'm not a big New Year's resolution guy. I like to grow. Neither uh, am I. I like to grow just without without labels, like without having to wait till the end of the year. But I kind of use this time to uh, be a little bit different this year and actually use it as motivation for some goals. Yeah, and I, I can totally relate to that. I don't like New Year's resolutions either. I feel like when you stick to a new year's resolution you're only motivated for two weeks and then you just gradually fall right off of that path this is something i've been working on basically throughout all 2021 and yeah let's get into number right. two guys so good. i'll start off with number two i'm just going to bring this to the channel just to be more relative with you guys so number two for me is we're going boost this year guys 100 percent the fa5 fd2 is going to get a Craftworks kit, that's the goal. I've kind of set my mind on that. So it's just a matter of time before I get that and get it in the car. I'm gonna be going with a C30 Rotrex kit. I've been driving Hondas for years now. Before I even started this channel, I had a FG2, then I had EKs, EGs, whatever. And I've never owned a boosted K, so that is something that I really want to do. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. And I know you guys are gonna love that, so she deserves it. I'm actually gonna go boost. He's probably gonna go before me because I have some other things I need to focus on, but I do plan on going um, boost as well. For simplicity, I do like the Craftworks kit. I feel like it has the most support. Uh, customer service I heard is really good. A lot of you guys recommended Merc Racing, but I don't know. There's just something about Craftworks that I like. So eventually well, I will it's, go it's, supercharge myself. The Craftworks is a pro charger setup. So I mean, it's, it's not technically a straight up supercharger. It's, a, it's like a hybrid between a turbo and a supercharger. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a little picture right here so you guys can see. Number two, this is important. Uh, it's be positive every single day. Just be kind to as many people as possible. Say hi to everybody, smile at people, and develop and connect with people, make friendships. You never know. know what somebody's going through. You never know because they could seem like the happiest person and they could be going through a whole lot. I know some people that I always thought were like, like I looked up to these people. Like they, they had it made. Yeah, like they had it made in the shade. And then like, I really get to know them and I'm like, damn, you know what? I got it good. So just take that in consideration and just treat everybody with respect and kindness. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna be diving into number three. So I'm gonna start this one off and I've been working this aerospace machinery job for quite a minute now couple years going on going on three years actually this year is going to be uh three years at the spot and before that i was working at another machine shop for like a year not even but basically where i'm going with this is in order to fund this channel i need more money and where i'm at right now it's it pays it pays all right i mean it covers my bills um, puts food in my belly. I, I'm not gonna say I don't appreciate that I have this job, but I'm most definitely looking for better. I'm not just trying to be content. Yeah, I'm not just trying to be content and, and, and slide through life. I'm trying to be comfortable and I'm trying to earn what, in my opinion, I deserve. So I could not only build myself up, but build this channel up and ultimately do what I love so I could do this full time. So a sad thing in today's day and age is in order to make more money, a lot of times, which is kind of sad, you have to leave the spot that you are at because they're not gonna, a lot of times these, these people aren't gonna offer you more money until they see that, that you already have offers from elsewhere and they're gonna pay you minimal for as long as they can get away with it. And it's kind of sad, but that's- it's like a trap. Yeah, basically. it's a trap. It's a trap. So that's basically, in my opinion, where I am at right now. So I'm just looking to level up. And of course, I want this channel to pay off so I can do this full time and not do any machinery. I mean, I'm passionate about it. Of course, I would do it on the side, but YouTube is the ultimate goal. Moving on to number four. <laughs> oh. For number four for me, 
I am gonna go into the fundamentals. I'm looking to do more track time this year for number four. So basically, I've never been on a track. I've always been on the streets. I try to I try to keep it out in Mexico. We the street boys. Yeah, so I'm looking to get more legit this, this year. No hood rat stuff? Nah, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting older, guys, and um, I'm trying to learn some fundamentals of racing. I'm pretty passionate about this. Doing this on the street just is not, is it's not cutting it for me anymore. It's dangerous. Um, it, it's and dangerous. I stopped. A lot of you guys ask where the call out challenges, guys. I stopped, had a close call, and it's not worth it. You know, it's really not worth it because all it takes is one thing and you know it's very dangerous you know your license is on the line everything negative is about it so yeah i think the track is the safest bet and you can also learn more of your driving ability and experience on the track so yeah when you get on the track you could really push that car to the limits and with this supercharger kit i'm gonna be getting up there quick guys i mean we already know she's gonna be fast and driving that car on the street she's going to be up to 65 like that i need a track where i could actually push this car to the limits and see what i could do with it because right now i mean i'm having fun with it but i'm definitely not pushing it to its potential in my opinion and that also brings me to what else i want to do with this car is i want to reinforce the suspension and chassis i want to upgrade the coilovers do a h brace a rear sway bar possibly a strut bar we'll see end links um tie rods ball joints i i want to get it i want to get it sound all uh, jazz all, all of it i want to get the suspension and chassis sound and that comes with a good brake kit as well so Maybe we'll look at a big brake kit down the line. Brembos? Spoons? Brembos. Yeah, I was looking at uh, the TL. The TL Type S. TL Type S Brembos. That's what's up. So, man. we'll see. Oh, yeah. All right. Going on number five. Last. Number five. <laughs> I'm going to be diving into number five. This is the last goal. I mean, not technically the last goal. <laughs> the last for the video. Yeah, basically. last for the video. Us humans, we could always improve on different aspects of life. But going to number five for me... I'm just getting out of a long relationship right now. I was in this relationship for like four years. My time frame, basically. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll call it. We'll call it a four year. And basically, I lived with this chick. I love this chick. I I say I still do love this chick. She's a great person. Definitely won't hear me say anything bad about her. Basically, we came to a mutual agreement that we kind of needed some time to ourselves. We're young. I'm 24 years old going on 25 in 2022 and basically we've spent every day together since i was 20. it's tough it's tough dude she's because seeing each other every day is just you kind of lose you guys, momentum you kind of grow apart yeah. because you butt heads man it's yeah and i mean especially us being so young we've kind of just become really lenient on each other like comfort blankets and definitely nothing bad saying about her but i'm using this time out of the relationship to work and grow on myself because in my opinion you grow the most when you are uncomfortable and right now i'm definitely i'm doing all right i'm fine definitely nothing to worry about but um it's different i'm, I'm used to being with this girl 24 7 going home sleeping with her and i don't have that anymore so right now i'm using this time to grow and work on myself and when you allow you have that space you technically have that freedom so your mind is just instead of focused on you know taking your energy and focusing your mind you know on another individual there's nothing wrong with that but when you're alone with your thoughts it gives you time to you know really dive in and connect with yourself and tell yourself what you want and with personal growth that goes hand in hand as well and i i can relate you know i just got out of a five-year relationship something like that and for me that was one of the hardest things to do was to you know cut the tie on that but you know i told myself that i need to instead of focusing my time and energy on another person i need to devote and focus my time on myself because at the end of the day really i mean I feel like nobody cares enough about or more about you than you care about yourself. So you need to put yourself at the top. Yep. Always. Yep. And I can relate to that. Um, I'll always be there for my homies. I'll always help people out. But 2022, I need to focus on myself more. I think I've actually distracted myself for myself. 
and put attention slash focus on other people, like to help them, kind of to distract myself from what's going on in my head. I don't really want to focus on it. So now 2022, I need to put all attention on myself, figure out what I want. Have a straight path. Yeah. And just take it out, man. It's it. Yep. Just keep, just move forward. There's well, definitely a lot of learning I need to do. My last goal with money is to achieve financial freedom. And that's where I have my assets paying for my living expenses for the rest of my life. I want to retire early and just enjoy my life. Wake up when I want, do what I want, travel when I want, eat what I want. Yep. And not have to stress about <clears throat> having enough. What is it, dinero? Dinero, yeah. Just dinero, that, dude. That, that green. Because this that will cheddar. make you. This will make you go crazy, man. Don't fall in love with the green, guys. But you know what? Having financial freedom is definitely really good for your mental. Of course, you don't you don't want to be a slave to it, but you got to find that happy medium. I hope you guys really all enjoyed this video. Be sure you guys give us likes down below. You know, we thought this would be cool to make. Hope this was helpful for you guys. For anyone that might be going through similar situations, I hope we might have dropped some good advice for you guys. But yeah, definitely leave some likes, show us some support. Drop your comments down below. What are your goals in 2022? Whether it be New Year's resolutions, whatever it is, drop it down below and be sure to subscribe and help out the channels, guys. Want really better for yourselves. You. Want better for yourselves, guys. 100%. Know your worth. Hell yeah. And we will see you all in the next video. Peace out, fam. Peace out. Oh!